Welcome to another Data Distiller Master Class Series. It is Thursday, and you know if it's Thursday, we've got our main man, Monty. Monty, man, it's good to see you, brother. Good to be here. You know, today's uh, Master Class, we're going to be focusing on revenue, revenue ops, sales ops, understanding your customers, your leads, where they are in the journey. And if you're going to do that, I think you're going to want to join your Salesforce data. What are your thoughts, Monty? Is that what you're thinking here? Yeah, big time for sure. Salesforce uh, has a lot of data and to be able to query and join it, you can open I know. all the doors of that. You know, there is, um, there's a lot of data out there and we're, we're, today's, today's masterclass is really focused in helping um, everyone who's in the ops of dealing with maybe revenue, finance, sales, <laughs> and how they're pulling data together. So we're, we're going to be talking today about Salesforce, uh, but people also use Airtable and other CRMs. We can connect to all. We had a uh, demo a couple of weeks ago about Airtable, and, but today we're going to be really talking about um, Salesforce. And, and Monty, I'm thinking, should we kind of think through, I mean, we could do Postgres, we can do Elastic, we could do BigQuery, but I'm thinking what? BigQuery, Salesforce, what do you think we should show everybody today? Because I'm going to ask you to do a demo, but which one do you think we should demo today and how we're joining? Yeah, let's do Salesforce and BigQuery. All right, Salesforce and BigQuery. Okay, so listen to our audience again. This is the Masterclass Series. And what Monty has been a good sport, Monty has picked it. He's going to do BigQuery and uh, sharing through it a, a Salesforce API. And you know what, Monty, I think I want to up it to everyone. What are you thinking about exporting this to a notebook? Which notebook? What do you? Well, I'm just going to throw it out there. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on you, but what are your thoughts? What else can we do today? Let's do it. Let's take it down the pipeline. Let's take it to a Python environment. Let's take it to a Google collaboratory notebook. Let's do okay. It. All right. So just to set it right for everyone listening, it is BigQuery uh, with a Salesforce API, and then we're going to export it to uh, to Jupyter. I love it. So, and this is everybody. And this is for you know, business ops, business analysts. Um, we're going to show you how you can use the tool. If you're a data scientist, yes, you can do this. If you're business ops, yes, you can do this as well. Super easy to use. Monty, is it okay if I, I kind of lean on you now to like maybe share your screen? Yeah, let's do it. I love it. So I'm just going to log in here. And I love that you picked BigQuery. I mean, that's one of my favorite like uh, things that we've been pushing out. So I'm I'm very happy you chose that instead of Postgres. We do a lot with Postgres, but it's really cool to do a video with you on, on BigQuery. So here we can uh, come to our nav tree on the end. You can see that it's configurable BigQuery when you go to your data sources, and you can see that BigQuery is a option to add as a database love it so all you need is to just give it a data source name and so that ddr or you can recognize in ddr hey this is my BigQuery instance fill out the client id client secret the project id that you'll find on your BigQuery instance and then the oauth will happen on its own in the background you just have to give permission send it over and with that done you'll be able to query your BigQuery in DDR. That is super easy. I mean, that form is, and it's so slick. Yeah, right. And the next thing we have is you can also add uh, the Salesforce API. Great. So Salesforce also uses O authentication. So yep. you would just give it a name for DDR, uh, connect the client ID, the client secret, and you would find your Salesforce subdomain on your Salesforce account, plug that in. The OAuth happens on its own, super easy, give it permission. And then you'll have both of those data sources available in your DDR nav tree, where you can then do your joins and jump right into it. So I already have my uh, Salesforce and BigQuery set up. So here, let's look on the nav tree. Here's my BigQuery database and my Salesforce. I'll first show Salesforce. An endpoint that I have configured is to see the users of my Salesforce instance, so I can see you know who's working in this. Right. Yeah. yeah, great. I love how clean that left column is. So, I mean, it's very easy to see the BigQuery. I love how you have BQ for BigQuery. I love the SS for Salesforce. I mean, it's it's very it's very smart. So, yeah, it is. And then here's some uh, Salesforce data. 
Okay. And we'll see here that there is an ID column here, ID value. We can use this as part of another endpoint for another Salesforce. Uh, so I would just say where user ID equals, I took that piece. Yep, that's what I would do. Put it in here, run it. And then boom, you can now have another endpoint that you're looking for. Hey, this is, so first one, I'm looking at the users in my Salesforce. And now I can say, hey, one specific user I want to look up, I can pull this. Right. And then and now- Monty I, Monty, I know we've talked about this before, but this is just, you're just it looks like you're just using standard SQL. I yeah. mean, it, there's nothing Easy. to it, right? Nothing it's just to standard it. SQL. Yeah. And for BigQuery, when you connect your database, you can see all of the data that's inside of your BigQuery instance. And here we have some of my colleagues, Ben, okay. Charles, Gibri, Fritz, me. So let's do a join on the two of them together. I have okay. some code written up. And let's say that we know the ID from my Salesforce. Let's see if I have that same ID in my BigQuery data. Right. So let's do a quick join. And with that, the same ID here, I'm pulling my BigQuery data. And if I scroll all the way down, you can see it joined all the way to the right. And now we're here at uh, Salesforce. So we did a join on the ID. And with that, that is we slick. were able yeah, to- Yeah, that is query. slick. And again, this, this whole, everything we're showing today on the masterclass is for people in the sales revenue and in, in the, the ops part. When you have to put together these uh, these reports or these projects, understanding customers, revenue, forecast. So this is meaningful stuff. Um, that is I'll very take slick. It a step further too, and then now once we did our join, we're going to export it out to our notebook. Oh, that's right. So, okay, good. I love so that. So now we're that it. I okay. first I I configured my Salesforce, I configured my database, BigQuery, I did my join, and now I want to pass it down the line so manage API access, find the project that I'm working on find the code, find the tab that I need, click on this Python, copy, take it to your notebook, oh, paste it, so easy. run it. And here we have our data frame named PDF. So now we just call that and same data that we had in DDR is now available in the notebook to go down its pipeline continuous life cycle. I just, I just love how easy that was. I mean, I just saw you do a big query, uh, a, a join on Salesforce, putting into Python. As always, Monty, I'm going to up it one. What happens if I want to turn off that API that you just did and then rerun it? How does, I mean, what you just showed was super slick, but let's say I, I don't want that API out there now. Like how yeah. easy is that to turn off? And can you run a, like rerun it in Jupyter what, when what happens? Yeah, that's definitely uh, one of our security features. You know, say you're done with it and it yes. needs to get shut down. You come yep. back to the API that you allowed, you deny it, you come back to your code, run it, and no yeah. go. It's turned off. Those so like this is security by design, and, and I love that. So you could turn it on, you could turn it off. Um, wow. I mean, that is slick. And, and what I also like is so many people we know like to do work in, in a notebook. So I just love the fact that so many things that we've built out were bringing the connectors in, but also letting you export out. All right. So um, this, the Salesforce is, is, is was such a, a, a big, big uh, win for Data Distiller to, to be able to have a connector into that being able to work with BigQuery and we could have done it with Postgres like that, but we just, I like that. We just was like running with something new. Um, so this is Thursday. This is, this is Darren and Monty. Um, and we're always talking about APIs. So Monty super cool, man. Thank you for helping us today. Yeah, pleasure. You know, and the other thing I would just want to remind everybody is that, yeah, we were just using simple SQL. I mean, it's, it's like it's such a, a, a language that you don't have, like there's no special languages to work with data distiller. Like we're not doing oh. fancy names, just use SQL. Like, yeah, that's perfect. All right, well, listen, thanks for being on the masterclass, brother. 
And uh, you can you could download um, our tool from the Oracle Marketplace. You can also go to datadistiller.com, download. We offer free 30-day trials. And you'll be meeting with Monty, of course, as we start moving around some data. So thank you all for being part of the, the Masterclass Series.